All right, remember you guys, this is like uh, I'm a major amateur at this, so this is not the uh, this is not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna be pretty at all. All right, so I bought from Harbor Freight the Titanium Flux 125. I, I got this a little while ago. I'm so excited to do this video. So this channel is gonna start welding because uh, I've done a little welding uh, before and it, it's actually extremely fun. All right, so we are gonna unbox, test this out, see how this actually works. Now, I believe I paid $150 for this. I also got the Vulcan Flux Core Wiring. I do not know if this comes with one inside. So just in case I picked one up, you know, you could always use more weld. And so, yeah. So let's unbox this really quick and go over the specs and actually use this off and see how this actually works. I, now remember, this is welding, so make sure you are prepared. I do get gloves. I got an apron just in case. Uh, but yeah, but let's, let's unbox this bad boy. I'm going to be very careful with doing this so I don't cut any wires or hoses in case if there are some. I'm extremely excited about this. Of course, we got instructions. I will be reading these. You have to read instructions for this. It's a, it's a must. Unless if you're an expert and you know exactly what you're doing. All right, let's take this out. There we go. I like the size of this unit too. I like that we got, and after that, the box is empty. All right, so this is the unit itself. Alrighty, so let's see what comes in this box really quick. Oh, it does come with, does come with uh, wire. I got this is 0 0.30. I got 0.35. Oh, uh, this is the Easy uh, Easy Flux 125. I guess the model number is five six three five five. I guess this is the how fast you want the wire to be fed through and the amount of power that you are uh, requiring to use. So that just needs to be adjusted to your, this gets adjusted to your specifications and to what materials that you're using this on. So with this type of, with this type of welder, you're able to do mild steel, low alloy steel, uh, not, and this is not suitable for aluminum or stainless steel. Uh, includes a 125 amp flux core welder, 125 amp F uh, caw gun, six foot, which that is this. So I guess you have a six foot cable with that. And of course you connect this to the, what you're welding. Uh, inverter technology, lighter weight and more effective for fine tune welding. Overload protection, uh, over 50% lighter, weighs only 15 pounds. So yeah, so let's actually, uh, let's take a look at this and uh, plug it in and see how, how well this actually works. There we go. Tight. Straighten that up. Straighten this out. Put this on. Yeah, make sure you do not let that unspool on you. There we go. Let's get that into the other hole. This is actually easy. That should be good. There we go. Now we keep doing, we could adjust the speed. We're waiting for it to come out of this nozzle. All right, so I do got my uh, welder helmet on. So we're gonna test this out and see how this is now. You can see I got this ready. These bolts are on tight. I'm actually excited to see how well this actually performs. I do got uh, welder's gloves, but I was warned that these actually don't uh, protect you from heat so I, I do have to be careful because this does get hot it does get hot 
Let's turn it on. As you can see, it is good to go. I think I'm good. Speed five. And we're gonna go to uh, level D. There we go, that's good. All right, remember, you guys, this is like uh, I'm a major amateur at this, so this is not the uh, this is not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna be pretty at all. All right, so in my amateur opinion, this welder did very well. Not bad for $150 at all, not bad. So this channel is gonna do a lot of welding on this channel. And in the future, we are gonna test out to see on how well my welds uh, will hold up. And if uh, one breaks, I'll just uh, grind it down a little bit and uh, redo it. So I'm hoping that they do well because I need each of these to withstand 2,000 foot-pounds of force. So if you need a video to motivate you to get into welding, I hope this uh, this fits your needs. All right, one other thing I want to mention is uh, I got this at Harbor Freight as well. Uh, this little mag uh, stick magnet helped majorly helped me put the the spacers in between in between here, and this is a cable up to 15 pounds. So this actually majorly helped me out when it comes to 
uh, getting the the black steel in the position so I could put the bolt in, and then then I was good to go. So this I think this was like six bucks, fifteen pounds. So yeah, this majorly helped out. So yeah, all right. So I am gonna do a uh, test in the future to see if my welds actually held up. I'm actually just gonna uh, impact wrench the crap out of them and see if any of them break. And then if they do, I'll uh, reweld it. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.